as the NHL Draft Combine has just concluded, we are now one step closer to determining who will be the most athletic players taken at this year's draft. And for the most part, a lot of people think that the Combine isn't really that important. A lot of people put a lot of faith into the Combine, but overall, it's just a very interesting thing to note how many pull-ups one guy can do, how quickly they can run from side to side, who's the most athletic in general. And these Combine results have paved the way for other brand new guys to showcase themselves on levels unheard of before. And one of these guys, probably the biggest riser and most unexpected player to show up on these rankings was London Knights center Liam Foodie. We're going to be talking about him today not because he's anything super, super good, but because he's just an athletic beast without a shadow of a doubt Liam Foodie is arguably the most agile, most physically capable player in this 2018 NHL entry draft. So some background information on Foodie. He's ranked 49th by future considerations and 19th by NHL Central Scouting for North American skaters, which means that he will most likely be taken in, let's say, the mid-second round. Foodie is a guy born in February of 2000, so he's already 18, 6 foot 1, 183 pounds as a centerman playing on the London Knights. What's so special about Foodie? Well, in his OHL season this past season, he grabbed himself 40 points in 65 games played. Now, that's not necessarily all that good, but at the same time, you gotta consider the fact that he was on the London Knights. The London Knights, however, were a team that wasn't necessarily all that good this season. And that fact is certainly projected into Foodie's point production. When the season started, he was put in a bottom six role. He was supposed to be the guy who energized the play. He was supposed to be one of those third or fourth line players who was on that line that was quote unquote hard to score against. He wasn't necessarily a guy catalyzing the offense because, well, the London Knights had other talent that they loaded their top six up because, well, they're the London Knights. Of course they have that. But as the season progressed, London wasn't necessarily all that good. It says here on the CanucksArmy.com article about Liam Foodie, in his first 35 games, Foodie only notched seven total points. And that doesn't really sound that much like a center who we're saying is going to go in the second round. But, as the London Knights season progressed, they realized that they weren't really that good, so they traded away all of their top forward prospects, NHL prospects, by the way. Robert Thomas, he got dealt. He's arguably going to be the next Bo Horvat. Cliff Pooh, definitely a fantastic player in the OHL. Who knows what he's going to be in the NHL. Max Jones, he was a part of that great squad in 2016, but is indeed a double overager. And Sam Miltich was also traded as well. So the London Knights, in a really short span of time, was able to unload four of their really talented guys. It seemed like Formenton was the last one remaining. And, of course, well, Liam Foodie. Afterwards, Foodie was placed in a top six position, in a position to catalyze the offense, no longer as a guy who was meant to energize the play, and more of an offensive point producer, and as a result, he finished up the 2017-18 season with 40 points in 65 games played, if you do the math, 33 points over the last 32 games of the season, over a point per game, when he was given the opportunities to be an offensive player. So Foodie is a guy who has exceeded down there in the OHL when given the opportunity to. He's a player who's really quick. If you look at any of his highlights, you look at any of these testimonies about him, he's a guy who could challenge for a top five spot in best skater of the draft. He's up there with Noah Dobson, Quinn Hughes. He's one of these really high quality skaters. And his second half of the London Knights season really showed off to all the scouts everywhere, he can fly. 
And that's totally something that we can say about him because Liam Foodie at this most recent draft combine was able to propose the best results out of everybody there. In terms of all the overall practices and everything, Liam Foodie was everywhere. For the peak power output, for that Wingate cycle ergometer test, that's the thing where you bike, he was able to produce the highest quality output of watts per kilogram. He was fourth in the bench press. In terms of all the jumps, Liam Foodie had the highest vertical jump with 27.65 inches. For the squat jump, he was second in that with 21.87 inches. And for the jump where you're not supposed to use your arms, he grabbed himself 27.81, a good three inches more than the second place Martin Fehevery. He actually had a higher no-arm jump than he had a vertical jump. Vertical jump 27.65, no-arm jump 27.81. In terms of the lateral runs, pro agility running left, Liam Foodie was able to do it in 4.2 seconds, and that was tied for first. And going to the right, Liam Foodie was tied for second with 4.3. Then we also have the long jump, the standing long jump where you stand in one position and you just leap forward. Liam Foodie had the longest jump, with 118.8 inches, a good 3 inches over Jacob Ingham for second place. Foodie also had himself the 7th best ratio of body fat to muscle. He was 7th in that category, with 7.87% of his body being body fat. So overall, just an incredible combine for Foodie. And it comes as no surprise that all of the things that he excelled at were things that involved cardio and or just using your legs. Because for the most part, Foodie, his parents, they were both sprinters. His mother was an Olympic sprinter, and his dad made the CFL. Foodie is legitimately a genetically enhanced athletic monster, and it's no surprise upon hearing that, that he was able to accomplish all of these things at the Combine here. He was able to beat out the rest of these guys, going left and right, jumping up and down. He's a leg-moving machine, and this is kind of why his skating out there on the ice is so high quality. Foodie was also a championship hurdler in high school, which should be to the surprise of nobody considering his athletic prowess. So... Foodie, as a player, is a guy who didn't have the best first half of the season. He was overshadowed by a ton of other veterans on the London Knights, but after they all got traded, Foodie really stepped up over a point-per-game performance in his last 32 games of the season, and he has now risen up to the second round in draft stocks. The best-case scenario for Liam Foodie, according to the Hockey News, is Carl Hagland, who's a player who's quick, really fast, arguably one of the fastest in the game today that's not named Connor McDavid, and a guy who can still put up points when need be. If you look at any of Liam Foodie's highlights, you'll see a lot of quick dangles, a lot of high-quality rushes, because he's a guy who can step inside, go outside, quickly outsmart opponents into doing what he wants them to do, and skating around them. Because Foodie finished 6th in London Knights points this season, with 40 points in 65 games played. And so the question now remains, did this incredible Combine boost his stock? Well, I think it's unfair to say that the Combine boosts anyone's stock, because it is just a measure of their athleticism. It's really like the interviews and all that, in my opinion, that really influence teams' personal draft ranking lists. But overall... It's totally not a bad thing to have. The fact that Foodie was arguably the most impressive player at the Combine and is a player who is quickly rising up the likes of popularity contests. Because let's face it, a lot of people after looking at the Draft Combine results went, who the heck is Liam Foodie? I'd already seen a little bit of him because of the Hockey News highlights and their really long list of 100 prospects or whatever, and... Obviously, it's not a name that I haven't seen before, but at the same time, he's a guy who, upon this draft combine concluding, really has gotten people talking about him. And now everyone's starting to notice that, hey, he is a really good skater, and he is a guy who had a really good, solid second half of the season, and he is a guy who's really, really physically capable. 
of doing things involving his legs. So that's Liam Foody for you. He goes in the second round most likely. If he goes to the Vancouver Canucks, oh my goodness, that would be cool. Another Yannick Henson speedy player. But nevertheless, he's just a guy who did really well at the Combine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, and that's your host, Gaming, and bye. <laughs>